What's up guys, Pudis here with another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile and I'm going to show you Ancient Gears and I've had a lot of beginning um, Yu-Gi-Oh players who want to get into the game um, ask me to make them an Ancient Gear deck because it was their favorite like archetype during the Yu-Gi-Oh GX era and they love Ancient Gear Golem so I decided to make one and share it with you guys and let's get started. We play three Ancient Gear Golems, he's, low, he's, he's eight, piercing, cannot be special summoned but other cards let you bring them out. Um, we play two Ancient Gear Golem. He's eight, has piercing, cannot attack the turn it's summon. But the reason why we play tunes is because we have three tune table of contents. And if you have one tune table of contents, you can use that to search for another one. Use that to search for the last one. And with that last one, you can get um, two Ancient Gear Golem. And he counts as an Ancient Gear monster. You can fusion summon, trade and target him, whatever. And Ancient Gear God Drill Tron Dragon, however you say it. Um, when he attacks, your opponent can activate any spells or traps. Well, most Ancient Gears do that. Um, he's 8, trade and target, all that good stuff. Um, Cyber Dragon, we played 2 because Cyber Dragon is just a good card. He's machine, and you can use him as like, you know, tribute, fodder, or you can contact using your mo your opponent's monsters if they have uh, machines. We play 3 Ancient Gear Wyverns, he's like the Stratos of the deck. If he's normal or special summoned, you can add any Ancient Gear card. So, um, you can get like an Ancient Gear Golem or any of your an other Ancient Gear spells. We play 3 King of the Swamps. Um, King of the Swamp's really good. He can be used as fusion um, material, but the other ones have to be the right ones. Or you can discard him and get a free polymerization. So it makes the deck more consistent. Uh, we play Maxi. Maxi's really broken. If you're playing playing against a deck that special summons a lot, you slap it down and it either forces them to stop their combo from special summoning or um, they keep going and you draw more cards. We play two polymerizations. Um, Three is too much, two is fine, because after you play one, you basically burn out of resources and um, you gotta rely on that one big boss monster, so two is fine. We play two pot desires, we need uh, more as much draw power as you can, because this deck's not too great, but it's really good for people who want to get back into the game and start fresh and um, play the deck they want to play. So draw power is really important, so we'll play two pot desires, three trade-ins because we have a lot of level eights and you want to discard them and draw two. We play uh, Ancient Gear Catapult. If you control no monsters, you can target a face-up card you control and um, special summon an Ancient Gear monster from your deck, ignoring its summon conditions. So you can get Ancient Gear Golem. And this deck doesn't want to set because Ancient Gear Wyvern says if you use this effect, you can't set cards, but it doesn't really matter because you're just going to want to uh, activate cards and just keep playing them. So you want to use Ancient Gear Catapult with your Gear Town because when Gear Town's destroyed, you get a free Ancient Gear monster. So you can basically get two level eights or ancient gear wyvern if you want, but that's the play. Um, the monarch stormforth is really good because if you have gear town, it says your ancient gear monsters require one less tribute, so you can use the monarch stormforth and tribute one uh, monster your opponent controls and get an ancient gear monster. So um, that's a really good combo to do too. We play limit removal because it doubles all your machines' attacks, and you can try to go for an OTK. And even if you don't OTK them that turn, um, with your like six thousand piercings you can overlay them and make an XYZ monster and they won't die. You can And we can also play Reasoning because we have so many different levels in the deck that is basically our free summon and makes the deck more consistent. So we play like 3s, 4s, 5s, and 8s. It's a lot of different levels. Um, we play Upstart for draw power consistency. Tune Table of Contents because um, Tune Table of Contents, if you search and get them out of the deck, it lowers the number of cards in your deck and with um, more cards out of your deck, you get draw power and try to get the cards you need. Ancient Gear Fortress, when you play it, uh, basically your Ancient Gears can't be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects that turn their summon. And if this card's destroyed, you get free Ancient Gear, ancient gear Monster. Um, we play three Gear Town, the field, you need it. If it's destroyed, you get a free Ancient Gear. And the last one is Regeki. Regeki is board clear and helps you bring you back in the game. Um, the last extra deck monsters we're going to show are Ancient Gear Chaos Giant. Um, this deck, this guy is a boss monster, the super badass guy of the deck. He requires four ancient gear monsters. He can only be uh, fusion summoned and unaffected by spells or traps. Your opponent can activate um, cards during the battle phase, and he can attack all monsters your opponent controls. And he has piercing, so if your opponent has like three monsters, he attacks them all. He's four thousand five hundred, and that's major damage. Um, we play ultimate ancient gear golem. He requires ancient gear golem and two ancient gears. Um, Basically, he has piercing, your opponent can activate spells or traps during the battle phase, and if he dies, you get an ancient gear golem from your graveyard onto the field, so 
He's also good to rely on too in case you know your security's gonna die. You get a you get a monster back from the graveyard. You play Ancient Gear Devil. Um, we, we play him because he's he's something you make. He's level eight. He burns for a thousand. He's not too strong, but if he dies, you get a free Ancient Gear monster from your deck, so you get a free three thousand. And he's level eight, so if you have another level eight, you overlay. Um, we play Cyber Twin Dragon because we have Cyber Dragons in the deck. You can fusion summon them. King of the Swamp counts as a Cyber Dragon two if you want, and he's twenty eight hundred with two attacks, really good. Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon for contact fusion with the Cyber Dragons. So if your opponent has machines, you can contact fusion them without polymerization. Get this guy out. And Hope Harbinger level eight negates a spell, really strong. Heretic Dragon Sun, what however you say his name. But basically, you detach one material, tribute monsters from your side of the field, and or hand. And however much you tribute, you destroy cards in the field. So if your opponent has like three monsters and you have three monsters in your hand, you tribute them and you can destroy their monsters or destroy your own cards like Gear Town and get even more summons. Um, Divine Dragon Knight Felgran, and we play Utopia the Lightning because he becomes 5,000, kills anything. Super good card. Um, Cyber Dragon Nova, Nova makes Infinity, Infinity wins games. Pleiades is good too for more control, bounces stuff, good for Cyber Dragons. Um, Utopia, Prime, you know, just for the Lightning, more material. And last is Castell, just in case you get Red Eyes, oh, right, not Red Eyes, Ancient Gear Wyvern, and Detach 2 and shuffle a card, and you know, for board, board control. And the last is Honorable Mentions. So if you're an advanced player, you can go Brilliant Fusion kind of build and go like Gemini Serap Knight and dump Cyber Dragon Core in the graveyard. And with Core, you can like use this effect in graveyard if you have no monsters and make the deck more consistent. But the reason why you want to make your Serap Knight is two normal summons is really good. And if Brilliant Fusion's on the field, it's a face of card. So you can use that with Ancient Gear Catapult and get a free summon too. So that makes the deck even like, better as is. Um, Ancient Gear Hunting Hound is good because he's an Ancient Gear monster. If you wanted more monsters, you can. Um, he burns for 600, I guess. But mostly he's like a polymerization kind of fusion sucks. Power Bond is really cool and flashy. Uh, I like it because it doubles the attack and you can try to go all out, you know, go ham. Double Cyclone is good. You pop one of your spells or traps, whatever, and dest destroy one of your opponent's spells or traps. So you can destroy like Gear Town or like Ancient Gear Fortress and get a free summon. Twin Twister is really good too. Discard a card, destroy two. You destroy your own stuff or just theirs. Um, Swords of Quintessential Light is really good against the meta because um, it puts all their monsters face down so you can get rid of like Crystal Wing and stuff. And it's also a continuous spell too so you can destroy it with Ancient Gear Catapult. Um, Supply Squad 2, continuous spell, destroy it with Ancient Gear Catapult. And just in case you're like, you know, your Ancient Gear Wyvern dies, you could draw a card from this continuous spell. More consistency. Um, Machina Armored Unit, you can use this. Like, let's say one of your monsters die. Um, if your Ancient Gear Golem dies, you can um, you get Ancient Gear Wyvern, special summon to the field with this card. Or let's say you have Cyber Dragon, it dies, and you can get uh, Cyber Dragon Core. Um, rivalry, rivalry of Warlords is good against like synchro heavy decks that have different kinds of monsters, so it shuts them down. Um, Gamma Seal, A, Kaiju, a tribute to monster they control. Lava Golem tribute two monsters to control level eight. They're both trade in targets. And the last one is Jinzo. People nowadays usually have a lot of traps because, you know, Royal Oppression and Dimensional Barriers are really strong. And Jinzo can, like, catch people off guard. So you can use Monarch Stormforth to bust them out, um, shut down all their traps, or even, like, a Limit removal with him. And he catches a lot of people off guard, even cheat them out with Reasoning. So that's a really good tech. So that's the deck. This is Buddhist signing out.